Hello, beautiful humans, and welcome again to the Awakened Woman channel. Today I wanted to ask you a very important question that will help you align and tune more deeply with your Divine Feminine. And that is, what makes you feel lighter? We live in a very dense world, reality, society, system. Systems that drain our energy and don't really encourage us to cleanse our field. Almost like we have a shower or brush our teeth every morning, which should be the norm in my opinion. So again, I asked you, what makes you feel lighter? Physically, what makes you feel lighter? For me, going to the gym, going to the sauna, sweating, even swimming or a massage, all these practices are ways that allow my body to shed some of the energetic weight it carries from the day and the week, social interactions, negative energy, negative spaces, and go back to my center and my lightness. And this is not something to take for granted because many of us live in a busy world where if we did not schedule and prioritize these physical cleansing practices, then it's so easy to move on to the next thing or stay lazy and watch the next course online or, or, or. And so today I wanted to ask you what makes you feel lighter physically and schedule it right now to make sure that at least once or twice a week you are making that space. And again, I ask you, what makes you feel lighter emotionally? What makes your heart just feel like a bird that wants to fly? For me, that's listening to music, that's dancing in the right place in the right time, of course, that's talking to really beautiful people, going deep in topics that I love to learn about, and connecting with things that make me feel more deep. So what makes me feel more lighter is what makes me feel more deeply because what makes me feel heavy or really out of my body is when I'm too much in the mind. Even if that means I've been sitting all day learning, still, emotionally, I won't be as connected as if I went to a kirtan where I took my guitar and jammed with a friend or going out in nature as well, things that are spacious laughter makes me feel lighter emotionally so sometimes I just like to watch something funny like JP's channel or a comedy or something just to lighten up myself emotionally and again we live in a dense world emotionally you find most people complaining and talking about the news and just bringing emotional fields of fear and anxiety and anger and resentment and so emotionally what opens your heart again take this moment and book it in Book in a whole hour of listening to your favorite playlist. Book in a conversation with a really awesome friend. Book in something that will make your heart feel lighter this week. Right now, I'll give you a moment to do that. <sighs> Alrighty, what makes you feel lighter? Mentally, what makes you feel like everything is possible? Because again, we live in a world that puts us into boxes mentally that says you can do this, you can't do that, you can have that job, you can't have that job, you can have that partner, you cannot have that partner. All these boxes, all these allowed and not allowed, shoulds and shouldn'ts. And so this becomes a weight on the mind that longs to be free, that longs to liberate with ideas and freedom and adventure, even mental adventures, thinking, dreaming, and envisioning. And this is one where I'm stretching because I'm quite a let's say grounded person I like to move forward with the things I talk about and so it's hard for me to just dream and not not have that concretely be a tangible outcome and so I'm stretching to envision more to have more ideas to really tune into my highest values and what projects or offerings or services I can offer from that place and so again I ask you what makes you feel lighter mentally learning about what makes you inspired or creative or outgoing or really um, activates the leader within you or the desire for impact or the passion because passion is a really important part of our lives passion is what sets us apart from the machines passion is what makes you who you are what you are passionate about what makes you happy 
what allows you to live in bliss and pleasure. And with the feminine, it is so important to always be guided by the things that make you feel good about yourself and life and the work you do and the service you offer others in your community. So again, what makes you feel lighter mentally? Maybe a specific kind of book when I'm reading about the goddesses and I'm reading about the ancient cultures and I'm reading about all these beautiful themes that awaken my mental field of possibilities and make me feel so light, make the field so vast, then I know I can go back to my flow and I know I can even align with the other one. So that makes me more excited about working out my body and more excited about having music to open my heart or time with my loved one. And so they all connect because the more I commit and prioritize lightness, lightness rather than results or productivity or this or goals or that, then the more I can just feel in my center and aligned. And right now I feel really aligned. That's why I'm making this video for you because I just was in the sauna and I was able to release a lot of energy. I'm feeling back in my center and I just wanted to remind you the importance of lightness in your life because we live in a dense reality. And finally, do you feel light or what makes you feel light spiritually? What is it that when you um, commit yourself to that or do that or be that makes you feel the most spiritual, the most Mm, connected with source perhaps that's meditation perhaps that's a silent retreat perhaps that's contemplation or listening to a teacher I love to listen to people like Alan Watts or Ram Das or even the music of Krishna Das really takes me to that spiritual dimension and other music as well so Find what makes you expand spiritually, what makes you see the bigger picture, what makes you feel like you are a part of a way bigger and mysterious whole. And when you do that, something will shift. This quality of lightness, the spiritual lightness, is the lightness that really allows you to surrender and let go and trust your life, your days, your moments, the things that happen, the things that don't happen, synchronicities the failures even start to have a different meaning. One makes you feel lighter. It doesn't mean that there's gonna be no problems or no challenges, it just means that you have these systems, these ways of coping, of opening your heart, of feeling more deeply, of allowing bliss to be a priority in your life and not a luxury. So today, again, my invitation is for you to lock in four things that will make you feel more lightly this week, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. And trust me, if you do that, within one week, your life is going to change. Within one month, your life is radically going to change. Within one year, you are going to be a different person. Just prioritize what makes you feel lightness. And what is lightness? It's back to center. It's space. It's simply the opposite of heaviness, which I know many of us have been feeling these days with what's happening in the world and the density of the earth and just a lot of things changing, a lot of energies moving. And so it's important for us to take that power back, connect back with our bliss, and the rest will unfold. I send you my love. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share this video with someone who needs to hear this, and drop me your comments below. What did you enjoy about this video? What would you like more of on this channel? And have a beautiful day. Let me show you around. This is the gym here in Ubud. It's so magnificent. There's a pool and a park. And I now live in Bali because I made lightness and bliss a priority in my life because I could have been living in London or Dubai or any place where, you know, that energy would have been different. But I chose lightness and here I am in paradise. So I invite you to do the same and I send you so much love.